Welcome back, everybody. This is the Sicarius dining chair from Ikea, and today on OFR, I'll be reviewing it to see if this chair will be a good fit for your dining room. My first impressions of this dining chair is that the overall sitting experience is quite good. There's a cover that goes over the chair and is held together by strips of Velcro. This will come in very handy if you get the covers dirty because removing it is relatively easy. Make sure you don't put the cover in the dryer though. This cover contains some cotton, so you'll have problems trying to fit it over the frame if you tumble dry it. One minor issue I have with this cover is that it shows some wrinkles. Steaming it helped a little, but it's nothing like the pictures you see on IKEA's website. If you don't like this dark gray cover, you have the option to go with the Viberbo pattern or the white. Depending on where you live, some cover options won't be sold in your area. Personally, I would stay away from the white as it's harder to keep clean, especially when there's food involved. The seat of this armchair holds true to what IKEA is advertising. The seat has some similarities to other sofas as it has a really good bounce to it. The seat has a zigzag spring bottom and is layered in cold foam. The seat should last you a good amount of years as the quality of the seat is on the better side. As for the backrest, I really like how well it supported my back. When you're done eating your meal and want to lean back, it definitely adds that overall comfort experience. One thing I would like to point out is that the foam used for the backrest is less dense than the seat of this armchair. Even though less weight is applied on the backrest, over time, the built-in lumbar support will start to give out faster. As for the armrests, I really like how they're shaped. The shape lets you sit closer to the dining table and was pretty comfortable when I tried leaning my arms on them. I noticed that the cushion used on the armrests were pretty thin, but I didn't feel like my arms were getting sore over longer periods of time. I would also like to add that you should make sure the bottom of your dining table is taller than 27 and a half inches. You'll save way more space in your dining room if these chairs can fit underneath your dining table. One problem I noticed in regards to comfort is that people with wider hips or generally a larger frame may find this dining chair a bit crammed. I would say I'm a skinny person and I found it to be a snug fit. A good thing I noticed about this dining chair is that the legs are made up of solid eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a dense hardwood, so each leg should last for a long time without showing too much damage. IKEA doesn't provide you with any floor protectors, so if you're interested in this armchair, I'd recommend buying some felt pads. With the model I bought, I also found that it wobbled a bit from side to side, but on carpet, you don't feel it as much. It took me under 27 minutes to complete the build, and if you're transporting the package yourself, the dimensions of the chair frame with the armrests are 43 and 3 quarter inches in length, 27 and a quarter inches in width, and 10 and 3 quarter inches in height. You'll be able to buy this dining chair from IKEA for either $229 Canadian or $129 American. Americans definitely get the better deal with this chair. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.